Welcome back to Bargaining in War. In prior lectures, we've seen how there exist settlements that leave both parties better off than had they fought a war. As a result, we expect states to by and large settle their differences at the negotiation table and not on the battlefield. Nevertheless, we do observe wars occurring every now and then, and so the task ahead of us is to explain why they happen. We're going to divide the labor into two units, and this first unit is going to be on a mechanism known as the commitment problem. Commitment problems have two components. The first is that all equilibrium outcomes are inefficient. And we mean that in the Pareto sense, such that there exists some alternative outcome that at least one party is strictly better off if they arrive at that outcome, and the other party is no worse off and perhaps also better off. The second component deals with getting to those alternative outcomes, namely the strategies associated with more efficient outcomes are not credible. So the name of this mechanism is commitment problem, and each of the components is dealing with one of those two words. So this second component is dealing with the commitment half of the story. The strategies associated with the more efficient outcomes are not credible. In other words, the states cannot credibly commit to getting to one of these alternative outcomes, even though they recognize the fact that there exist alternative outcomes that would make them both better off, we just can't get there. The first component is the problem part. It's a problem because the equilibria that we're getting are inefficient. And because we're dealing with war, it's really easy to reach one of these sorts of things and know that it's inefficient. If the states are fighting a war at any point in one of our models, given what we've learned previously, that entire central puzzle, war's inefficiency, is dealing with the fact that war is not good and there exist settlements that make both parties better off. So as we're going through this unit, we're going to see various mechanisms that all connect back to the central commitment problem mechanism. And as we're seeing these various facets of the commitment problem, and we're seeing wars occur, we're going to be relating them back to this definition of a commitment problem. We're going to see how an outcome of a game is inefficient, and we're then going to explain how the strategies associated with the more efficient outcomes, namely the situations where we have a deal being made, just are not credible. So this is short because we're just introducing this definition, but it's a fundamental component of what we're going to be doing throughout this unit. So I hope you enjoyed it, and hope to see you next time. Take care.